We're here today in the Michaud State Forest to talk about another emerging invasive plant in the Commonwealth, cork tree. This is a species that was introduced to the United States in the mid-1800s and is native to Korea, Japan, and China. There's a number of cork tree species here in the Commonwealth, but they all share very similar characteristics. This species has opposite compound leaves. The compound leaves are made up of anywhere from 5 to 11 leaflets that have a smooth margin. This species also has very distinct green flowers in early summer, which turn into these green berries in August and will ripen to a dark purple or black into the fall. And given the prolific fruiting ability of this tree, it's a target for a lot of our birds and wildlife to come and eat these fruits and then disperse the seeds. This species can very quickly form very dense patches in a forest setting, particularly forest edges, and displace a lot of our native tree and shrubs. As the name suggests, cork tree bark is soft and spongy to the touch. It's typically light gray, ashy colored, without many furrows. Another distinguishing characteristic is the bright yellow cambium layer. If you suspect that you have a cork tree on your property, take a pocket knife or a small hatchet, scrape down past the bark, and look for that bright yellow color. Primarily right now, this species is found in southeast Pennsylvania and Allegheny County. However, we're beginning to see it spreading in south central Pennsylvania as well. And really, since it's used as a landscaping tree, it could be found anywhere throughout the Commonwealth. If you do cut a cork tree, it will stump sprout unless you use a systemic herbicide. So the best idea is to cut the tree, spray the stump so that that herbicide can get down into the root system and kill the individual tree. For smaller saplings, you can use hack and squirt or basal bark methods as well.